Okay, I wanted to go over the AMDR. Basically, it is just a way that people can talk about the distribution of where your energy should be coming from uh, in relationship to the macronutrients. So those macronutrients being carbohydrates, lipids, and then proteins. Currently, what people are saying is approximately 45 to 65% of your total calories should be coming from carbohydrates. 20 to 35 percent of those calories should be coming from lipids and then 10 to 35 percent of your total calories should be coming from proteins. Some other important numbers to kind of be aware of is actually how many calories there are per unit of measurement of mass. So four kilocalories of carbohydrates is equivalent to one gram of carbohydrates and then also uh, 9 kilocalories of lipids is equivalent to 1 gram and 4 kilocalories of protein will come from 1 gram. So basically if you have 1 gram of carbohydrates you should have approximately 4 kilocalories in that food. So what we need to do is figure out how we can use that. So we may have a diet where we have a particular number of kilocalories we want to aiming for and we may want to have a certain number of carbohydrates or at least a percentage of calories coming from those carbohydrates and now we can utilize these numbers to figure out how much carbs we really need in terms of the amount. So let's go over the first problem here. So here we got a scenario, we got Susie is told to consume a diet with the total number of kilocalories set at 1,850. So that's our total number that we need to be worried about. So what we want to know is how many grams of protein she would have in her diet, or should she have in her diet. So now we need to do a little bit of math. And since we're dealing with protein, we'll need to come back up here and look and see that, well, we need 10 to 35% of the calories should actually come from protein. So we'll need to utilize that to figure out how many grams that she should have in that diet to have a proper diet. So here's some numbers just so we can start doing some calculation. So here's the total number of calories we had talked about, 1,850. To figure out 10% of those calories, or what 10% of 8, 1,850 is, we can multiply that by 0 0.10. And if we do that, we'll get 185 kilocalories. So what that's saying is 185 kilocalories is 10% of that total number. To do 35%, we'll take 1,850 and we'll multiply that by 0.35. When we do that, we'll get 647.5 kilocalories. And so now what we've just done is here is our distribution range in terms of proteins, in terms of how many calories should be coming from proteins. So we should have between 185 kilocalories to 647.5 kilocalories coming from protein. Now the problem that we have now is we gotta get this converted into actual grams, a measurement that we can use. So to do that, we're gonna do some math here and we're gonna utilize that four kilocalories per gram measurement that we talked about earlier. So here we got my 185 kilocalories. And what I'm gonna do is just put this as a proportion here. So one gram is equivalent to four kilocalories. And when I do this and I do a multiplication, what we'll see is my kilocalories will cross out and I'll be left with my grams number. And so 10% then of my calories would actually be about 46.25 grams of protein. Now to figure out the 647 one, we divide that by four and we'll get 161.9 grams. So basically what we're saying is Sally needs, a, or Susie needs approximately 46.25 grams to 161.9 grams to fit within the AMDR range of proteins. So that's how you'll do uh, problem number one.